Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela with Green Acre Homestead. Welcome back to the next part of a roof over series we're doing. We're putting a new roof on our 1988 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home, adding overhangs, eaves, gutters, possibly gutters, we're not sure about that yet, and all sorts of new stuff where we didn't have it before. <laughs> that was really good. So a lot of you real-time viewers of the channel have been asking us what happened to the roof. You'll know it's been a while since our last roof video, but if you're here from the future and you're just watching the playlist all the way through, you won't care. So let's go ahead and get you guys up to speed with what work we've done, and then we'll explain where we are with this whole project real time. Let's go. Oh, let's go. plywood does not meet at the top of the roof it doesn't come together um, it will be before the metal is put on but as of right now it doesn't so what I have over here of my shoulder is a mock-up of the rafter framing we'll call it that whatever it is rake the board is going on this end of the house where it's peaked a little mock-up screwed together at the correct pitch and everything what I'm going to do to find the center point to then mark and measure and cut my final rake boards, rafter boards, overhangs with the angles. I'm going to put this up there and hold my level right where these two boards attach to each other and move it back and forth on the roof until it's exactly plumb. I'll confirm with measurements at that point that it should be the center point. That's what's in my head right now. We'll see if it works. To go down to the workshop to get another clamp and i was reminded of something that a viewer of ours sent us it is a platform made for a ladder what you do is you set that bottom part on your bottom rung and then the top hooks over your next one and that gives you a sturdy platform to stand on as you're climbing up or down all you do is nudge that forward like that and when you get up there, you take your foot and pull it back. It might be a little tricky with this style ladder because it has two rungs, but even if I only get it on the first part, it's still secure. It's still biting into the ladder itself. Everything feels good. 
and it'll give me enough room to stand on. Obviously a lot more than these rungs will by themselves. Ideally, it'd be really good to get it on that second part. So I'll go ahead and take this up there and give it a try. See how it works. If nothing else, it's going to make it feel a lot better on my feet standing on the ladder. It's a little nerve-wracking sitting on it first, being honest. It's like, Ugh. but uh, yeah, that's cool. I have to get used to it though. It's gonna take a minute or a while to get used to it. Here's a little better example of how this thing works. So you can kind of get a nice picture over here. Much more comfortable than just the rung by itself. I'm gonna read a book. Pretty cool little contraption, huh? I like it. Be very, very useful for any time we're up on a ladder, standing in place, and just, which we've been doing with this roof, it's gonna save our feet a lot. Thank you again to the viewer who sent this to us. I don't know if I'm supposed to say your name, so I didn't say it. Either way, thank you all the same. Well, what you just watched there was an accumulation of several days worth of work spread over too many days worth of time. What did you think? You got a little bit of ladder action up there with me. What was your opinion of the stuff? It went a lot quicker than some of the other stuff has. Yeah, it was handy only having that short of a run to do. Yes. Finding the angles were a pain. It took a lot of back and forth. Up and down. Up and down and <laughs> to the saw and everything. But I, I mean, the end result looks very nice. I don't say it often when I'm doing a project like this, but as I was attaching the top ridge, I actually said, well, wow, that looks presentable. <laughs> the primary purpose of the two by six and then the two by fours is to support the plywood and give us a strong overhang for the ends of the home. Kind of the same thing we've done with the rest of the roof. It is strong enough to where I 
don't think it would break if I walked on it, but no one's going to be walking on that <laughs> on that overhang. So it is perfectly adequate and strong enough, and I think it is good enough for state work and for us here at our house. Okay, so now for the point of probably a lot of you real-time viewers are here for. What's the deal with the roof? Why is it taking so long? Angela, what's wrong with you? It's not me. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> not me either. I do the demolition part, remember? Listen, you do the building. Listen to us. We're playing the not me card. <laughs> so the majority of the holdup with the roof has been just getting the stuff ordered and getting our order placed with the manufacturing warehouse that makes metal roofing. We are not going through like a hardware store or a reseller. We've gone straight to the manufacturer, which has worked great in the past. It That's has. where we've always gotten our metal roofing. But I don't know if we just got a bad salesperson. Um, it's been weeks. Yeah, it, took, it got to the point where Sam actually called him and I hate calling people on the phone, but I called him and uh, the person that answered the phone said, Oh, the person that you've been emailing, they're not here right now. Let me go check. Come back. And she said, yeah, it was kind of just sitting there in the inbox and nothing's been done. Give me like two hours and it'll be done. So within the same day, maybe the next day, it same was done. Same day, yeah. Same day I had the quote, looked at it overnight, and paid for it the next day. So that was and great. And then ha having to wait another week after yeah. that for it to get here. Yep. So we are currently within the week waiting time between you paid for it and our next window for delivery is a week away. Well, that's like two days down the road. I was going to go pick it up with our trailer and just get the stuff myself, but it weighs around 1,100 pounds for everything. And then most of the pieces are 10 feet long and it's like 25 miles. And it was actually very affordable to have it delivered here. So we're like, it's worth it. Yeah, that was that was you. You said yes, that's worth it for that price. Yes. So should be here in a couple of days. So that's the story with the metal roof as far as where is it? Why is it not done? What are you guys doing? Well, we have had the soap shack in the meantime too, so the soap shack we did we knew we had to get it done before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. That's a business goal is to get it done before the end of the year. So, I mean, we were having issues with the roof and we knew the roof wasn't gonna get done fast. So we'll just double dip that chip and do pro two projects at once. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, making progress. So I think we are done with the bulk framing of the roof. I think we're pretty much done touching it until the roof arrives. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> woo. And then we trim off the underlayment, put on the drip edge and everything like that time, same day. Um, at least the drip edge and everything same day. I know I won't get the roof panels down in one day, but that's okay. Again, it's the whole reason we got this expensive underlayment is I know reality enough to know that this wasn't gonna be done super fast. And this underlayment is actually really good. It's mm -hmm. held up really well. Well, and where we are at in the world, <laughs> It's usually pretty mild here until like February. Winter doesn't really hit here yes. until February. Yeah. So, I mean, we could be in shorts and t-shirt into December. Mm -hmm. Winter for me personally means I can work outside and not sweat to death. <laughs> and it's occasionally cold at night and in the mornings. Otherwise, I mean, winters aren't bad here where we live. So we understand that for some people they are freaking out over it. winter's here your roof's not done oh my goodness we don't it, when we get snow it's here today and it melts off tomorrow because the sun just burns it off so and we're like totally in the sun so yeah yep no trees we've had to build all the shade <laughs> <laughs> so we are ready to get the metal to get on the roof <sighs> have kids they said it'll be fun you'll miss this someday I don't I don't, I don't know guys. I think y'all just forget. <laughs> <laughs> so we are now in limbo waiting on the metal roof to arrive. Again? Waiting again. Not waiting on ourselves. That's a nice feeling. Yes. Waiting on somebody else for a change. Yep. So. In the meantime, soap shed. Soap shack? Is it shack or shed? I keep... I say soap shack. Okay. So what we want to say? That's what I call it. Okay. I just think of shack as being... Blech. And that thing's about it's fancier new, than our like, house is right now. 
It's the chic thing. Yeah, somebody mentioned how it's probably more insulated than our house is. <laughs> yeah, it is. More insulated, more complete, more sturdy. Let's just move in, hon. <laughs> we can leave the house to the kids. There you go. Kids have it. Whatever, we're gone. We're retiring. So in the meantime, there will be work on the soap shack. I have a hard time saying soap shack. That's why I don't... She shed is horrible. Um, well, I'm going to say a wordy dirt on that one. <laughs> Alright, for the fifth time, there will be videos on the soap shack in the meantime while the roof takes shape and everything. Don't worry, um, if we don't show it on a feature video, it's probably being worked on behind the scenes. We don't do so much daily videos as more we do subject oriented. Project videos. Yeah, project videos. We make videos to be like self-standing later on. Right. That's what we do. Well, thanks for coming along and leave us a comment below or a question and we will get to them as we can we love to read all of them even if we don't comment on all of them right um and we will see you guys next time on the homestead bye, bye. hey there's no yawning on youtube there's no hair fixing on youtube quit primping this ain't the primping show Welcome to the Four Eyes Club. You ain't Four Eyes, you ain't in the club. Thanks, son. I found out that losing weight makes me put my glasses back on. Apparently all the fat on my head was squishing my eyeballs so I could see fine. Remember? What? Okay, like, like a year ago I was heavier. I didn't wear glasses, I didn't need them, didn't have headaches. Now I need them, I have headaches. When Maybe I'm... it's just because you're getting old. Probably. We're gonna get this thing over with? Yes. Alright. Look at us. We just like focused on the ugly trailer. Let's block no. the trailer with my head. Yep. Your head's bigger than mine. Hide in the trailer. <laughs> I don't know the ugly. It's the most useful utility trailer, although it's just, I mean, that's homely. Oh.